No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here with Adam, who's going to talk to us about the new DJI Osmo RAW. That's right. Tell us what's new. What's new about this is everything. Uh, what this is, is this is the X5R camera. Shoots on a solid state drive, 512 gigs, uncompressed video. It's also uh, sending down to your phone a 720p buffered version through the DJI GO app. What's really amazing about this, you have a micro four thirds camera, fully stabilized on three axes. You can use a thumbstick to control pan and tilt. Pretty neat, so you can do it like that. Uh, I also have attached to it, I have the, the DJI focus wheel. So I can now manually focus what I'm seeing without having to go into the app and use that function. Uh, a lot going on under the hood here, but this is some of the best stabilized imagery you will find. Uh, can you tell us about the, the optics? Optics are micro four thirds. This is the same camera that is on the um, Inspire RAW drone. For still images, you're shooting 16 megapixel. You've got 12.8 stops of dynamic range. Your eye has got 14, so this is very, very high quality. Uh, can you tell us about the internal recording? Yeah, so uh, the RAW file that you're generating here is uh, Cinema DNG, and you're able to pull this out for various different workflows. Can you tell us about uh, frame rates? So maximum resolution 4K at 30 FPS. It does higher frame rates at lower resolutions. You're able to program all that through the app directly, just a couple of button pushes with your finger. You were mentioning earlier that there were various power solutions for this. Yeah, so as you can imagine, the Osmo X3, which gives you on the regular battery, that's just a basic model of the Osmo. That'll give you about 60 minutes of shooting at 4K. We've come out with a higher capacity battery that goes up to 94 minutes. That, of course, when you're using the Osmo RAW here, substantially lower times. You're going to get under 30 minutes of, of shooting. So what we've recognized is uh, you need an extended power solution. So we now have an extended power solution that gives you the opportunity to hook this up to one of our DJI intelligent batteries for our drones or for the Ronin-M. And you can get up to five and a half hours of shooting using one of those solutions. Uh, what's this little micro SD on the slide doing? A micro SD will let you uh, pop this out and uh, get slightly lower resolution if you want to get the 4K image and start working with it directly if you don't need the raw image. Are you, are you saying that that can record a proxy or it just allows you to record a smaller uh, file. Just a sm Small just a smaller file. file if you don't want to record it to this Correct. card right here? Yes that's, yes, that's right. You can record a smaller file to it. Is that a proprietary card? No, no, it's an oh, oh, the SSD card. Yeah, you know, right now, if, if you want to do this, you're going to have to buy this whole rig through the DJI store. Price points and release? Uh, so we haven't set a price for this yet. You could theoretically build it through the components if you had the camera, had the Osmo handle, had the adapter. But, you know, at this point, I would say if you wait a few weeks, we'll be coming out with a pretty nice bundle for this.